Hello there friends and welcome to another video from the electronic pick today. Welcome again and thanks for uh, all the subscriptions and uh, all the views. And not to forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notified of all our uploads. Having said that, let's check out our video of the day. Uh, this video is all about the Amazon Echo Dot and what is inside it. And the reason why we thought of making this video is because there have been lately a lot of uh, controversial talks about uh, this particular uh, gadget actually. And that is because of the responses it gave to the questions that was asked to it. Uh, some weird facts and that people have noticed around the world. Some of them said this uh, second generation uh, of Echo Dot has only one microphone which is in the center you can see this small tiny uh, hole here that's the microphone uh, as per them but what I uh, noticed when I was playing around with this device a few days ago was that um, it uh, it could actually recognize where my voice is actually coming from I mean which from which direction my voice is coming from actually and that cannot be achieved with just a single uh, microphone you need to have individual microphones placed in different directions so that was uh, something uh, which caught my attention um, I mean, when I compared it with what people said earlier about this device. So so what I was thinking was, uh, why not let, let's rip it open and see what's inside actually. So as you can see the, the ports here, this is the second gen once again. It's very easy to uh, identify the second and third gen because third gen looks almost similar like the Google uh, Mini. I, I would like to show you uh, what uh, I've noticed. Okay, so uh, we have connected the Alexa now. Now it's trying to power itself on and uh, it will also try to connect to the, the Wi-Fi network. All right, I think Alexa is ready to go. Wow, it recognized my voice. Ready to Go is a song by Republica, released as a single on the 15th of April 1996. Alexa, on the band. stop. I'm going to show you guys what it does exactly when you uh, switch locations. Okay, now I'm going to the left, left side now uh, and I'm going to call it. Uh, let's see whether it responds. Basically, I want to switch sides and show you how that makes a difference actually. Alexa. Alexa. Now I'm going to right side a little bit more, coming towards the center. Alexa. Now I'm in the center. Alexa. Let me just uh, shift to the my right side a little bit more. Alexa. Okay, now I'm going to uh, shift to my extreme right. Alexa. So you can see that it's shifting. It's shifting actually as per uh, you know the direction I move. As you could see that you know it actually picks up from around it. I also wanted to check whether uh, if it works from the rear side also. So I'm just going to test it right now. So I'm going to reduce the brightness again just to show you. Alexa. Wow, it worked actually. Uh, so the fact is that this is also actually um, an array of microphones. It's not just a single microphone. Uh, without wasting any more time, let's uh, rip it open and see what's going on inside this.
Okay, there we are. So all the screws removed. I think the <laughs> the top side is coming off. Actually, you can see that. So I'm gonna put it like this. And let's see what's inside this now. Wow. That's the four buttons there for this one. Okay. And uh, let's see, there's nothing much from here. We can see. This is. Um, not sure what this is. It could be a microphone as well. So it could be more than four microphones. Let's find that out. Let's open it up and see how. Okay, this thing is attached to this. That's the reason why I, I've been a little careful there. So you can see there's this plastic molding there which holds the, the top PCB. Um, so you can see that there's a cable there. I'm gonna try and remove that uh, cable. And as you can also see, there are some electronics on this one. There are some chips here. Okay, we got that removed actually so we have the first board out and this is how it looks on the board yes guys okay you can see there are this is this is actually a microphone module you see the small thing here I'm talking about this thing here this is a microphone module uh, this is another one okay this is another one and this is another one, this is another one, this is another one, and one in the center. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six microphones all together on the sides, and the seventh microphone in the center. And here we can see the four chips there. Uh, those are nothing but the the analog to digital converter chips actually which takes up the the analog input from all these microphones the seven microphones and then convert them to um, the digital format and then sends it across to the the the, the main board uh, at the bottom of the unit via the cable that we have seen earlier the ribbon cable all right so this is how it looks from the inside button module this is this is a thin rubber film and wow that's so smooth actually just doesn't say anything else other than some some code not sure what that is i feel happy for the construction of this unit actually because see this is uh, solid metal here okay inside this is the chassis so let's remove that oh it just comes right off like that well, you can see a few things here. And as you may notice on the left, the circular silvery portion is where the speaker is and those two are the copper contacts actually. There's another board here at the bottom. And this is the main board actually and it has the DAC, you can see that chip there. And that actually converts the digital uh, signals to analog uh, for the speaker out or the headphones out. And just to clarify, you're viewing the bottom side of the main board now. Okay, so this stack converts all the uh, the digital to analog here, uh, and it sends it out through the headphone jack. The cable runs through here actually the, for the bottom module, and this is the bottommost part uh, which has the speaker module and uh, uh, and also the uh, there is an RFID on it actually. Uh, this speaker is a tiny speaker, uh, however, it's loud enough. But comparatively, the Echo Dot third generation scores much higher marks in this segment. There are two more uh, connections here, which I've seen. This is again for the Wi-Fi, probably. I'm going to take this out as well. 
it just comes off like that easily there's this thermal material here which is kept uh, that's for the the networking hardware and that which dissipates the heat to the chassis this is the processor actually and you can see it's a mediatek processor it's mt6323 lga and these are the for the wlan uh, basically for the uh, network and lastly the the bottom most part also contains a speaker module actually and this is um, how it looks and uh, you know below that you have a, a radio frequency id actually a radio frequency id or the so called rf id and and that's more like it uh, there is nothing more in this uh, other than the uh, some some kind of shielding that goes around the corners uh, the bottom corners of the uh, the module Uh, this is the speaker module and uh, you can see that uh, it's silver in color there it is actually um, you, you can actually take it out uh, there is no there are no screws on to this module to to replace a speaker as such or i think uh, if there is a need for a speaker replacement i think the whole module needs to be changed uh, by amazon uh, depending on the warranty of course and we can see the speaker through the fabric speaker grill absolutely non removable you have to break it open I have assembled Alexa back again, and uh, doesn't look very pretty though at the bottom because of that, uh, that you know that that membrane which we removed. You you cannot actually stick it back again without getting these um, you know uneven it yeah, uneven surface. So so once you open it, you will have this trouble. Okay, so <laughs> uh, don't open your Alexa. You already seen what's inside, right? Here you go. I'm gonna plug it back again. wait for it to start up there you go we have lights lexa well and good we are back in action and that concludes our session for what's inside the echo dot module and um, i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you found it useful please give a thumbs up for the video um, and please post your comments uh, uh, there are also interesting links in the um, description section and like always thank you again for visiting the electronic tech today until we meet next time with more interesting videos you take care goodbye